Matthew Knight Cashin was born in 1926 in Memphis, Tennessee, and was immediately adopted by Benson, Homer Cashin, and Gladys Knight of Eudora. His son Matt said, Possibly because of his adoption, family and friends were very important to him. Later, Knight attended Eudora High School, and after graduation, he served in the United States Army Air Corps in Iowa City, Iowa, from 1944 until 1946. Like so many young men at the time, he went straight into the service. After an honorable discharge and with his GI Bill in hand, Knight enrolled at the University of Arkansas at Fayetteville, where he pledged with the Kappa Sigma fraternity. In 1949, he graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in business, and the following June, he married Jane Hurley, daughter of former Warren Mayor Jim Hurley. The couple raised three sons, Benson Arthur, Ted Hurley, and Matthew Knight, Jr., and had eight grandchildren. He passed away in 2004. Cashin spent the first 14 years of his career working for the Gulf Insurance Company, then moving to Rebsman and East, where he started as a traveling insurance agent, but left as senior vice president. Before starting the Cashin Company with Doris Nell Julian, a longtime business partner, and his son, Benson, Knight co-founded East Cashin and East with Jack East Sr. and Jack East Jr. in 1968. Benson says, I feel lucky that I was able to help him start the Cashin Company, and what a great experience to be able to work with my dad for 30 plus years. Among other things, I learned the importance of good financial management. A few years later, the company was sold to a larger group with the promise that business practices would remain the same. Matt said, Of course the business changed, so my dad decided to start his own company. It was a very bold move, but he believed it was all about relationships, and he wanted the freedom to serve his clients as needed. E.C. Rowlett, former owner of E.C. Rowlett Construction Company of Maumel, relied on Knight's expertise for 40 years. When Knight left East Cashin and East, Rowlett followed him. Rowlett said, He was a wonderful fellow and did everything he ever said he was going to do. Knight's vision was broader than his own interest, and he wanted to help every contractor that entered his office with their insurance and surety bonding needs. Matt said, There was nothing Dad liked better than to help a new, young upstart obtain the bonding needed for a project. Mark Lamberth, co-owner of Atlas Asphalt Incorporated, said, Knight Cashin was a pillar of the industry. He was comfortable conversing with a governor or a flagger on a road job. He was able to relate to both. I will always remember his kindness to a 25-year-old novice who couldn't even spell the word asphalt. He was a mentor to a lot of young people, especially me, and his untiring dedication to his clients' welfare was unparalleled. Neo G. Clark of Hartford Bond of Dallas, Texas said, Knight was one of the finest gentlemen I have ever known. He always did things the right way with truth and integrity. Kuntz Electric Company President Benny M. Kuntz said, Knight was a strong leader in the construction industry. His priorities were always in the right place. On more than one occasion, Knight was honored for his dedication and hard work by the insurance and other industries. One of his most prestigious awards came in 2002 when he was inducted into the Associated General Contractors Hall of Fame. Knight also served in various capacities in the local community. The enthusiastic Razorback fan and alum served as the Little Rock Razorback Club president. In addition, he was board officer of the Riverdale Country Club and later served as its president when it became Pleasant Valley Country Club. He was an elder at the Second Presbyterian Church in Little Rock.